So, what I was trying to tell you is this property of uh, stabilized mud brick mm -hmm. of not absorbing uh, water in the sense that relatively mm -hmm. it has a less uh, water absorption around 8 to 9 percent. That is very much related to the hogging activity. Mm -hmm. like normally, if you look at the burn brick making, they have this soil. They age it for some time and then they put it, mixing it. Mm. But I use legs generally, mm. what I have seen. Or you can, one can use a pug mill also. Mm. Pug mills are uh, in, you know, used in most of the worker brick making, mm. the extruded worker brick making. There is a pug mill and an extruder. Then they cut it. Mm. So here, what we are trying to do is mixing uh, the whole. Soil with stabilizer and everything properly. So when they use their legs and uh, apply force with more water, mm -hmm. more compared to mud block again, mm -hmm. uh, maybe the moisture can vary around 18 to 20 percent. Whereas in the mud block making, you have about 10 to 12 percent. When they mix it uh, by way of pugging using their legs, mm -hmm. then the clay particles will, you know, will be available to coat all the other sand uh, particles. Clay and silt both are available to coat the sand particles. So once that pugging is done, right now they are doing it for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. in, in fact, it's like this, if they increase the pugging duration for some more time, it can improve the quality also. So this is the most important uh, thing in uh, any mud construction. Okay. Even if you want to do a plain mud wall, mm -hmm. just molding and shaping is not uh, going to give us that performance. Mm -hmm. Pugging is the one which gives us that performance. It uh, acquires uh, you know, better density. The density of the brick will be higher because the particles are closer to each other and uh, the surface also uh, will uh, perform much better during rains. The erosion and such issues are also reduced greatly. Okay. The clay mm. together, uh, cement, silt and clay together starts performing that role, coating the uh, sand particles. Mm. So, cement uh, plays with clay, it stabilizes clay. What is it we are stabilizing? We are actually stabilizing the clay. Mm -hmm. Then it is coating the sand particles. Mm -hmm. So, you have a cementitious material coating the sand particles. Mm -hmm. so it is like concrete. Ah. Only thing is, uh, one may compare, uh, like uh, some people compare the surfaces. Uh, a machine made block may look much more smoother and even. Whereas a stabilized adobe might uh, have some changes in their shape. Not so much, it's possible to do it uh, to a larger extent. But may not be able to compare with the machine press block. Machine press block might look more attractive. Uh, that's about it. Otherwise, uh, performance wise, this is, I would say, definitely very good. You should try it out and feel for yourself. No, <laughs> because Maharaj has insisted on us, like, these structures are okay. Now, in the next week, you see, like, he said, uh, just he visited one of the cowboy. Mm -hmm. So he will get more like mud like structures. Like, this is okay, we are doing. We want like this kind of structure. So we are also looking for actually like purely of mud. We have to win and stabilize the And the other interesting thing is in stabilized adobe, mm -hmm. mixing of lime mm -hmm. uh, is easier mm -hmm. because you have more water. Pugging mm -hmm. is happening. Mm -hmm. So it's more uniform mix. Mm -hmm. You know, everything is coming together. There is nothing separating the two because it is a uh, mix with more water. 
so water acts like a medium so it takes the you know finer materials and coats the particles very well so there is definitely advantage and you don't need a machine uh, we have uh, developed a uh, simpler modified mold it has a bottom plate also yeah it's a bit like i was talking about the size you know we started with 9 by 4 and a quarter by 3 then we felt it is too small a brick for this method so in many places they always generally do adobes of uh, size much bigger different places are different sizes slowly uh, we started increasing the mold size uh, we made 9 by 7 and a half by 4 like uh, what we had even that i was feeling it is smaller for that method then we did 12 by 9 by 4 that people were comfortable they said not more than this sir this is fine because weight of the block everything you know actually what i have tried to do is i work with the people okay taking their feedback every day and trying to change till they said well this is fine we will work with this So that's how we arrived at twelve by nine by four.